just want to give you a little update here. So I did a few things. Um, I added in this dial indicator at the end where my tail stock is at to track any possible um, movement on my x-axis of the uh, tail stock. Um, and I don't know if I covered it earlier, but one thing that I, I do with barrels when I have to manipulate them and I don't have a, a outboard spider to use, I'll take a piece of number four copper ground wire and I'll bend it around the threads. This does a few things. It protects the threads, first of all, and secondly, it gives me the ability to <clears throat> manipulate the, um, the barrel uh, in any any direction that I need to manipulate it to, uh, you know, square the muzzle or whatever else. So what we're going to do now, we run two cuts here, and I changed things up a little bit. I only went 50 thousandths deep, but we're going to, oh, and the other thing I did, I went around, I don't know if you can see it very well, but I drilled six relief holes with a stub drill a little less than 50 thousandths deep that way when i plunge the ball end mill in um, it's got some clearance and it's not you know, taking a full wad of the metal so we've done two of these we're going to loosen or unloosen whichever you like to say the clamps here and we're going to rotate 60 degrees so if you notice I'm at 330, so I'm going to go back to my start position at 30. You see we're rotating around here. So that's zero. That's my start position. Now we're going to go to... 90 degrees our thing here I don't know how well you guys can see that scale but we're going to go to our next 60 degree spot here and as you rotate this around you're going to come to your your degree graduation they need to find where the full number hits here. So we're going to hit on two on the zero. See that there? So that tells me that I am lined up. So we're going to lock it. Lock our trolley there. We'll spin this bad boy up. Okay, we are running at approximately uh, 1300 RPMs and I don't know what my surface feet per minute is and not quite that smart but it takes me about 15 minutes to do one pass and I'm doing uh, three passes at 15 thousandths and then I do a climb mill pass at 5 thousandths to give me that good finish and that gives me my 50 thousandths total depth so um, probably going to have to do this while I hold the camera, but we're going to put some oil on. I'm using some Viper's Venom. It's a good, high quality, high sulfur cutting oil. I've got my scale here at set zero. Okay, and we're going to go up 15,000. You're going to hear the mill bit kick in. Okay, there's 15,000. I've got my um, auto feed kicked in. Pull up. Start cutting. And there she goes. So I got a machine stack, two wood wedges there to help with uh, damping vibration and all that. So. I'm gonna stop it here and I'll bring you back when it's done. 
Well, good evening. This is Josh here at Mass Gun Works. It's been a long day, and I just want to give you a quick look at what the barrel looks like with the fluting. Now it's completed. We did six flutes, um, changed things up a little bit, went uh, 20 inches, and we only went 50,000 steep. Looks great. Pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm going to do the bolt another day, probably tomorrow. This is a stub that I turned so I can hold the bolt in my uh, chuck on my dividing head and turn it concentrically. I had to put this in here and then hold the bolt in a four jaw chuck and then take some skin passes uh, to get it running concentric. We were about 40 thousandths out of concentricity from the threads to the center axis of the bolt. So it's pretty significant. Um, but yep, there it is. So when I get this project completed, um, we need to mount it in this stock right here is one that the owner provided. And See, I still got to flute the bolt, and then we'll be seracoding this in flat dark earth. So, I'm going to go in, eat some supper, and go to bed. <laughs> um, but when I get this all finished up, I will do uh, a walk around of it and just kind of show you everything that we did. So, hope you all have enjoyed this process so far, and hope you enjoy the finished product.